Liverpool in the 19th century developed hugely. It became one of the most powerful cities in the country, whilst Britain was one of the most powerful countries in the world. This display has various views of Liverpool in the 19th century. So there are views from right at the beginning of the 19th century when Liverpool was still developing its power and goes forward into the later parts of the 19th century when Liverpool was a hugely powerful mercantile city. One of the paintings shows Bold Street in the late 19th century as a really bustling, busy, exciting place to be, which for those who know Bold Street in Liverpool, it still is today. There's also a painting by Prescott of St John's Market, which uh, in contrast to the Bold Street painting is extremely different from today. So this painting shows a high vaulted ceiling, all of the market stalls, lots and lots of people, the produce, food, and all the different things that you could buy in late 19th century. And it's in the old market hall, which was um, the first of its kind in the UK, uh, but today is no longer there and has been demolished. And this painting of St John's shows just how different things are today, but also the great similarities that we have as well. There are two paintings by John Atkinson Grimshaw of the Custom House, which was a building for customs and excise next to the docks. The Custom House is no longer there today because it was damaged by uh, the Luftwaffe in the 1941 Blitz in Liverpool and was fully destroyed later on. The site itself it now makes up part of Liverpool One Shopping Centre, not that far from John Lewis. The painting is a really clear reminder of just how important Liverpool's mercantile history has been for its development as a city. These two paintings by Grimshaw are very typical of his style. He often painted cities in the moonlight, in the rain, uh, very atmospheric lighting, and that's no different in these two paintings that we have off the Custom House. Atkinson's use of light and the moonlight falling on the cobbles creates a wonderful image of a Victorian city at night. Several of these paintings show evidence of Liverpool's continued involvement in the slave trade, which was a significant factor in the development of Liverpool's wealth and continues to be a troubling reminder to us today. For example, Bold Street was named after Jonas Bold, who was a prominent slave trader, uh, but was also mayor of Liverpool, so it shows how entrenched those people were in Liverpool society. There's also a painting of the Town Hall, which still stands today and has sculptures on the side which represent what was termed the African trade or the trade in enslaved people which contributed to Liverpool's wealth. There's also a painting of American ships on the River Mersey and it's highly likely that those ships were involved in the slave trade as well. America and Liverpool had very close trading relationships and that is partly due to the transatlantic slave trade. These paintings give us an idea of what Liverpool and the surrounding area was like in the 19th century, including rural views of the Wirral when it was not so built up. There's a view of Bidston Hill, which today is basically part of Birkenhead, but at the time was a wonderful vista surrounded by fields and open space. <laughs>